Like, did you ever have a moment where you were like, that guy's amazing, I'm going to go up to him and talk to him? Well, the first comedy album I heard was Bill Cosby. Somebody gave me to Bill Cosby I'm to Russell, my brother, whom I slept with. It was my first hearing anyone do stand-up, really, and it was just so natural and so... And, and he's the one who, who turned me on to it, you know? I don't say I emulated him, but, but that style, that conversational style was, was just appealing. He was to funny me. last night. He was night. on Letterman yeah. last night. He was hilarious, yeah. wasn't he? No, I was... I, I just... The fear is... As you get older, you don't hold up anymore. Right. And it was great, you know, he's 73 years old and I was laughing just like I was yeah. when he was young, yeah. Did you picture your career this way when you started out? Is it like what you wanted? Not here. <laughs> no, <laughs> <goodness>. oh. <laughs> you know, my goal was to do stand-up. I just loved doing stand-up. I was making a living doing stand-up. I did The Tonight Show with Johnny, I did the HBO, I did the Young Comedian Special with this guy 17 years ago. It was the Young Comedian Special and I was kind of old then. Yeah. I was, uh, yeah. I noticed that. I was like 35. I, I, uh, yeah. I remember the time just thinking, Ray is so much better <laughs> than all of us. Uh, I remember seeing your stand up and thinking, that guy's going to be a great writer. Wait a minute. As you got more successful, did you, did you feel like you got better or did you get more insecure? I'm out of this one, right? Yeah, me too. <laughs> 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 yes, you're, you're out of it, but, but, but pay attention. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think if I think of when I was the happiest, and I'm not complaining, I love what I'm doing and all that, but I think when I was doing stand-up, when I was going to the cellar and hanging out with you guys, and my twins were two years old, and it was crazy, I, I think of that, and I was still kind of screwed up then, but I think I was the happiest then. But I'm happy now, too. I'm not saying I'm not happy now. I'm saying I love the right. show. I love what I'm doing. I love getting the... Ray is happy. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no. Let's just be clear about <laughs> that. <laughs> this is me happy. Ray yeah. is happy. So yeah. that, don't leave thinking he's not fucking happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a weird feeling of even when they're cheering, there's a little part of you that still feels like you're an imposter. Does that ever go away? Not according to... Anybody I've talked to. Yeah. <laughs> but did you think when your show ended yeah. that uh, it was just such a monster success, one of the greatest shows ever in television, yeah. nine years, it never got weaker, that it would fill your ego so you would feel great for 20 years and then it just didn't happen? I, I, I believe that like for like a week. Like, <laughs> like, this is enough. All right, my father never hugged me, but this is fucking enough. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> He hugged me once, my father, and it was, I was about 20, and it felt very awkward. And I know now what made it awkward, uh, the nudity. <laughs> 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 <laughs>